welcome to Wild of the World and you're still watching our epic trip around the world and as you can see we're in Thailand. In Ayutthaya, one of the most beautiful remaining old capitals of the Siamese Kingdom. Let's go! Our adventure in Thailand started with a couple of days in Bangkok. And now we're hitting the road to explore the country. For 400 years, Ayutthaya was the mighty capital of the Siamese Kingdom, until 1767, when the Burmese came in and in a war, a lot got ruined. That doesn't make it less special, because walking here is a walk through history of Thailand. One of the nicest ways to explore Ayutthaya is of course by bike. But I must say, it's a little bit hot today. I don't wanna At our lovely hotel on the edge of the center, we have breakfast and jump on these free bikes. Ayutthaya is not big, but it's one of Thailand's most traditional places. How great is this guys, we just hopped on the bike and even though we're not visiting any temples yet, you will see that Ayutthaya is just one big open air museum. The ruins are everywhere on every corner of the street. The 7-Eleven is also a bit of a tradition for us. Cheap toasties and ice cream. Yesterday was still a little bit too hot for us, so today we booked a tuk-tuk for the whole day. It's about 25 bucks and then he'll take you to all the big sites here in Ayutthaya. Let's go! We start the day at one of the most amazing temple sites you can find in all of Thailand. Because Wat Chai Watanaram still remained perfect after the Burmese attacked Ayutthaya about 250 years ago. About 40 years ago this was still in the jungle, but as you can see now they made it pretty clear and you can see everything with this amazing view. It's just like the setting in an Indiana Jones movie, right? The temple in the Khmer style was built in 1630 by the king as a tribute to his mother. That's kind of funny actually, because we also have mom visiting. After a little drive with the Tok Tok, we arrive at Wat Pra Mahatat. It's the most famous one, right in the middle, in the center of Ayutthaya. And you'll see that it's a little bit more crowded over here. But a walk through these ruins is really worth it. Let's go! One of the most special Buddhas in all of Thailand is not so big. You can see behind me, there's a head of a Buddha stuck in a tree and nobody knows how it got there. Wat Mahatat is a bit older than the previous temple, because construction started in 1374. The king at that time lived here as a monk for years, and this is the largest complex of Ayutthaya. It's pretty and everything, but that's just one thing I need right now. Ice cream. 
If you visit as many temples as we do, you can buy a combination ticket for 220 baht, which is only about 6 bucks. From Wat Mahatat we go to the neighbors and that's called Wat Ratchabura. Wat Ratchaburana is special because you can climb the pagoda in the middle and look out over the other buildings and stupas. Right across the street we have lunch at the nicest restaurant in Ayutthaya. Sorry guys, we're not templed out yet. This is Wat Pra Mongkong with a big Buddha statue. It's gold and it's beautiful. Our next stop is the 37 meters long reclining Buddha. And if you pass by, you can't miss it. Okay, so one more and then we are really templed out. On to Ayutthaya's infamous evening program. Normally in a place like Ayutthaya, which is really hot, I would recommend you to have a pool at your hotel. But hotels with pools were a little bit expensive, so a cold shower is the next best thing. Oh, and cold beer. What a storm guys, it's a tropical rainstorm here in Thailand. So we have to make a change of plans, we were supposed to go to the Ayutthaya night market. I can really recommend it, I've been there six years ago. Uh, nice food, nice souvenirs and everything, but instead I think we're gonna go to a restaurant. Because it's raining cats and dogs. During dinner it does clear up a bit, so we grab some specialties from the market. That's it guys for this episode in Ayutthaya. But we're far from leaving Thailand yet. So the next episode, we're taking the train to Pak Chong and we're going on a Thai safari. I'll see you there. Before we leave, one thing you have to try in Ayutthaya, it looks like a big wig of hair uh, on a green pancake, but it is delicious. That hairy pancake is for next time and after a fantastic safari we'll continue to see a lot more of Thailand. <laughs>